Bow. Man, we back at it with another one, man. You already see what the fuck is going on, man. Do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for the kid. We're going to get straight into it. Uh, the title of this one, again, shout out to fucking Playback. They be having all the good content. Need to get in their Discord or some shit. But the title of this video is, <sighs> I hate when black men date white women. Yeah. And when they Dr. Umar shit, let's see what the fuck is going on. Okay. Aside from his taste in women, but Beyonce, carry on. What'd you say? Aside from Jonathan Majors' taste in women, he, he's a trans. Oh, no, anyway, just talking about to go, go back, back to, to Jonathan Majors. To my fucked up point of view, and I understand. I have something tweaked in me. Okay. I have. That's interesting that she. I don't know what. What she said, but that's interesting that uh, that she made that uh. Oh shit! I'm over here fixing shit in the middle of the video. She said that uh, she has that uh, self-awareness to realize that something may mentally not be uh, connected in her mata. I have been admiring him and his work for a long time. Okay. I've been looking at his little Vogue at home videos nice. and everything. Cute. And I was like, wow, he is attractive. I like his way of being. I bet he has a white girlfriend. There was something in me that- mm. Hey man, you got too much free time on your hands. I can tell you that much. Comes mm -hmm. out, it's gonna be a white woman. And when Antoinette revealed to me <laughs> that he was <laughs> in Sweden somewhere with a blonde haired, blonde haired white woman. Very white. It crushed it. Not even it, a spicy it, white. White. I don't. White. They want to make sure that that, sh that shit sounds disrespectful. White. Like they want to throw that, you know what I'm saying? That tart on the girl name. Celebrate know what about. that. And me as a biracial woman, I understand that that is hey, that's yo. weird. So wait, you telling me you don't like interracial relationships, but you're a spawn of that. That's what she was talking about when she said <laughs> it's something it's something wrong with her mentally. That is fucking you would literally not be here right now based on your own opinion. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Right? That's weird. What? As fuck. <laughs> Yo, you oh, want to buy what? Yeah. <laughs> you You're a byproduct of that. Of the thing exactly. you despise. What the fuck? That's crazy Ooh. as hell. Despise is crazy. Ooh, boy. Despise is boy, crazy. Boy, y'all lost out here, my yeah, boys. Nah, this is like a villain Loki, origin story. Yo, you're lost. Loki. You are let, the level of self-loathing <laughs> is absurd. Dude, nah, that is self-hate. That is self-hate. I wonder what made her feel like that. Is it her upbringing? Was it one of her parents? Was it the family? You know what I've been hearing on TikTok too? I hope that, I ain't gonna say I hope this, now nah, I hope this video go viral so we can have that conversation. What be happening in these interracial households when the white, when the, when the woman is white and the father is black? Cause I be hearing bad shit when, 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 when they be having like white moms, like, Every time on TikTok that shit pops about inter pops up about interracial relationships and like growing up in those households is always some yeah the mom is trash the side of that family ah 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 they do it, it is I don't fuck with none of them it's like damn that shit I couldn't imagine hating my moms bro like not liking my moms family ah uh, you feel me you can't really choose them so you could kind of you know I'm saying you love them you don't gotta like them type shit. But your mom's, my nigga, you, you literally came from her. The, my nigga, she carried you around. She knew you was coming. And you telling me you got here and you got of age. And it was like, nah. Or whatever age you was at, he was like, nah, this ain't it. I don't fuck. Damn, bro. That's tough. What? I would never understand what that's, that's crazy. That's crazy, crazy, bro. I hate that anybody has to experience some shit like that. Bad enough. You know what? Yeah, I ain't gonna say nothing. That means you don't like your parents' relationship. Is that what you're saying? Can you imagine too. if they just have like a? I don't know if they do, but if they have like a healthy, successful marriage and life together, no, and she was like, too, I mm, I "Hate that shit. I fucking hate nah, that healthy shit." Fuck! Why did you have to be white? Yo, you know what's crazy though? A lot of, not a lot. People like, for example, serial killers. Is some serial killers? I think the Ted Bundy nigga. He was one of the people who had a, supposedly a good home. Came from a good home. And the nigga was, you feel me? Y'all thought, uh, y'all thought, oh boy, was bad. Was who was son that dropped that documentary on Netflix? Jeffrey Dahmer. That was Jeffrey Dahmer, right? Y'all thought he was Ted Bundy. 
He was the godfather of that shit, my nigga. The godfather. What? Go watch that documentary. Go read up on him. That nigga's... He literally bred these other little... Other niggas. Like, they hybrids compared to him. This nigga is the OG. I'm laughing because it's sick. <laughs> Chill on me. It's sick. I, I, I'm not going to celebrate the children that they have. Mm. <laughs> if they have oh, children. wait. So you're not going to celebrate the children. Oh, my I'm God. Oh, wait. I'm oh, just saying, Christ. like, it's not... Nah, that's it's, you. You're not so Their relationship is not herself, something bro. that I, it doesn't make me be like, yes. Like, you know, some people together, you're like, that's how you got here. Together. That's how we all got here. A white woman and a black man. But here's the thing, right? I'm this like that lady down the street that perm my hair when I was younger, mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> like this bitch don't know what the fuck she's <laughs> doing. <laughs> like you know what, but you know what I think that stems from, right? And I think we're seeing a lot yeah, more of it now, and it All gets under my skin as well. Talk about it. We have been ridiculed and critiqued on both sides of the fence True. our entire existence, right? We're never 100%. white enough for the white people. We're never black enough for the black people. For some black people, however we identify, however we however we choose to to participate in cultural conversations, yeah. it's always under the magnus always under the magnifying glass. And I think part of part of what we're seeing now and what I get agitated about is this concept that now because it's it's commercially trendy and attractive for people to be in interracial relationships it's become mm. a presentation of diluted blackness versus its own ex mm. uh, us being a, uh, having a mixed experience mm. that is completely separate from everything else and i think that's the part that that i'm resentful about is seeing, you know, and, and somebody brought it up to me. It was like, well, aren't you happy to see like all these mixed families and Cheerios commercials? And my response is no, because it's not, <laughs> the storytelling is not our, is not a mixed story. The mm. storytelling is this is what's digestible for white people. This is the, the version of blackness that works for white people, <laughs> which is not the same thing. Okay. So, okay. Hold on, I'm laughing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm resentful of seeing mixed race couples when it's like, damn, we, but outside of television then, I, what about if you're just out of- Yeah, okay. So that was the point I was about to make. Cause, okay, what she said about the, the, the TV shit, about like interracial relationships being on the forefront. And I, I was, when I was in college, we discussed this. They put that imagery out there to make it a little bit more digestible. And for, and for the simple fact is like the, the black household, let's keep it a bean. It's not in media in general. It's not being pushed like anything else. Like, they want to they want to make it so it kind of blends with white and black. You know what I'm saying? It's not really you don't really see too many commercials where it's like promoting black black love or shit like that or just in I'm talking about not in just just the news. I'm talking about commercials, shows, uh, skits. You know what I'm saying? It's just not being promoted, and they feel as though this is more commercial. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like the it's like the pop lane. It's you know what I'm saying? It's the, you know what I'm saying? So I understand what she I understand what she's coming from with that kind of, uh, and she's basically saying like what her experience was like is not what they're portraying in these in the media, which is it's her experience. I can't I can't knock her for ha like you know what I'm saying for expressing that's that's what she experienced. I wasn't there. I can't you know what I'm saying. So I respect that. But let's be realistic, bro. Let's be real in the world, bro. You love who you love first and foremost. So, what obviously, you know, we know what I'm talking about. Relation, like shit, like that. You love who you love, so you can't really. You know what I'm saying I respect Dr. Umar and all these people promoting black love. I understand that, and I'm fu I'm fully for that. Hundred ten percent. I'm probably nine times out of ten marry a black woman for sure. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just me though. That everybody else is. Oh, you know what I'm saying. Depending on why they wouldn't is, is very important as well. Like, why? Like, for example, why does she feel this way about, it, like, <laughs> not celebrating interracial children? And she is, in that's self-hate, my nigga. <laughs> like, to a degree that is, she had to experience some crazy shit, my nigga. Like, crazy. Like, imagine you saying that. Like, even, um, the, the, I don't know if y'all, it was a clip, bro. The Glock 9 nigga, he's a Florida rapper. He said, yeah, like, I don't want to have my kid by no, no, uh, with no black girl or some shit like that. I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, because I'm black as hell. I don't want my kid to be black. I said, yo, bro, bro, that's hate, bro. That's self-hate to the point where, damn, you, you don't even, like, your kid's going to come out black regardless. Like, not just skin complexion. Regardless, the world is going to see this kid as a black baby. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? So for you to say that, it's just... 
this, bro. This shit is gone. Scalati fractured. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to take away from her experience. But, yeah, outside of the media, bro, realistically, bro, there are so many people in the world that have good relationships, black, like, interracial, not just black and white, other shit, too. Like, not in just New York where there's a melting pot. Talk, like, go over to Canada, bro. That shit is normal. This shit is literally normal. When I talked to people from Canada when I went out there and visited, bro, that shit is regular. I seen so many different fucking people, and it was all love, bro. I think this is an American... I think I live... I'm an American. I understand that. I think it is an American thing, though. Like, even when you go over to those places, they don't be like, oh, yeah, you're black, you're white. But you're American. Over here, we... Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going into a rant, but word. At a restaurant. I don't mind seeing black women with white men. It gets even more toxic. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 what? Let me... I had to sit up for that one. Seeing mixed race couples when it's like, damn, we... But outside of television, then I, what about if you're just at a restaurant? I don't mind seeing black women with white men. It gets yo, she's sick. I don't know what her name is. She's she's mint. Yeah, she's done. Even more toxic. Oh. <laughs> nah, dead ass. You gotta take your shit off for that, bro. You gotta take. You gotta take this your ass off. We might have to quit early. Man, we might have to quit this early. She's bugging. What the fuck is wrong with both of them? What is wrong with them? <laughs> She is the fucking daughter of a mixed couple talking about how she doesn't respect fucking oh my god who gives a fuck if they're marketing of course they want it to be digestible to the fucking masses yeah. Ooh, what of course they do I'm gonna say y'all right now boy I I I stop I, comparing I, <laughs> fucking human being relationships to shit in commercials. That's why I was saying Cheerio outside of, you know what I'm saying? Representation of shit. Ooh. They're trying to sell you fucking products. Dumb. Exactly, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like the point, they're they're gonna want to be pop. They're gonna go to pop route. You know what I'm saying? They want to they want to go for something that's gonna be more digestible for everyone. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to they want to uh, uh, capitalize <laughs> off of all of this shit. Because at the end of the day. All of this, the media is all about making money, bro. Let's keep it a bean. Let's call a spade a spade. All that shit is about making bread. They don't really give a fuck about what. If the shit was more beneficial or or more, or they could capitalize more off of black love, they would. It's what it is, bro. Niggas is in this shit for making money, bro. And once y'all see that, and once y'all realize that, then you'll 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 start digesting and paying attention more to certain shit. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. It was good, love. How you doing? All right. Love you more. God, that's so dumb. Fuck. You resent real interracial couples because you saw Cheerios commercial that rubbed you the wrong way? Bro, this is sick, man. Y'all need to be more happy if people found love, okay? Nah, fact. Instead of trying to dissect their love and do you appreciate it or do you like, well, I'm not happy about it because it's like diluted sense of, and it's, it's palatable for the whites. Oh, oh my oh, God. Man, bro, you thought we was a nice more, They more based it off of their own personal experience. <laughs> that's really what's going on. I can't on. believe what I'm hearing. And that's why I was, I was saying that shit about the white mom shit. I'm pretty sure both of them, I don't know about the other girl. I'm pretty sure the original lady with the white mom, she has had a crazy experience, bro. I guarantee, I'm willing to bet hella breach that she had a terrible experience and that shit rubbed her the wrong way to where she literally are, is not looking forward to and hates herself and any other person that spawns from a white mom and a black dad. I'm telling you, bro. Yo, I ain't gonna like. Yeah, sit down and talk to her. I like, this is the guy was crazy. Shit, from bro. an interrail. Oh, she's from a mix. She's literally mixed. Yeah, talking yeah. about she doesn't. Did she? Yo, Kayla, run the back. Did she say she didn't respect the kids of a mixed <laughs> she couple? She not I, I, I'm not gonna celebrate their children. Celebrate them. Crazy. <laughs> if they have oh, children. Oh, damn. Oh, yes. God, did I hear that wrong? I yeah, just, she didn't celebrate her. She didn't celebrate him. She didn't celebrate him. So we shouldn't celebrate her then. Yeah, that's what she's saying. All right, let's. Except is also wild. This is crazy. Black bro. women can date out the race and date who they want, but a black man black doing man, it. Oh, I just can't do it. it. You're toxic. What? Special. I don't. What? Hold on. So you don't like? Oh, oh, it's toxic. I'm not saying <laughs> wow. you're claiming okay, 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 that, okay. that, that there's makes so any sense. I'm just telling you how the question is fucked up. Why, why does? Why do you feel that way? Because though? I, for some reason, mm -hmm. I feel like. All of the black women that I know that are in relationship with white men are being loved up. They are mm. they are exalted. They're taken care of. Like there's no doubt in my mind that he is riding for this woman and right. loves her 
to death. And I'm you like, you don't believe black men do that for white women? I don't. And I guess there's something salty in me that why, why, why these men that we admire and are proud of in the ways that they show up in the world as musicians, as actors, mm. as people that now have money, why is their love being projected what onto the this fuck? Onto a white woman? Like, like, yo! You with the Bro, I, I, I get tired of this ongoing- I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna hear what y'all, what y'all response is. But what? I don't think she hear herself though, you know what I'm saying? I don't think she really has, so, but let's see what, what the conversation homie wants in the black community is if, like, there's this alarming number of black men who are... Let's see. Black men are twice as likely as black women to... 10, 10, 12, 10, Hispanic, 12, black 10. Or just like dating outside their race when the, the factually speaking that is not the case at all it's just not and actually statistically speaking the more money you make the more likely you are to date within your own race and that goes for across okay ten percent of all marriage it's still a minority bro shut the fuck up but Onto let me a white woman but then like, let me ask you with the other women that we looked up to um of course serena williams being one eve and we've talked about I eve so much eve. on this okay so there's women that we've looked up to that we've loved and wh whether it be their style of, of dress uh serena williams being the best athlete of all time they chose white white men mm -hmm. to not only be with but procreate with so I just want to. I want to know the understanding of where you look up to black men, and there you have a disdain for them being with white women. But when we look up to black women, there's almost a ce celebration around them getting with a white with a I, white man. I can't sit here and uh, y'all tell me. Help me through this. Yo, I don't have. Geez, I it's it's a self hate thing, bro. It's a self hate. Delu she's delusional. <laughs> she's delusional, bro. She's fucking delusional, bro. That, like, literally makes no sense. And, like, I'm gonna have to cut it short because that shit make... I don't have a... You, you have to you remove, remove... You have to remove yourself from your thought. You are so biased because you're thinking about, like, what would benefit you. You... You... What would benefit you? And I'm telling you, it's probably the past trauma, bro. Want the love of whatever. It could be a white man. It could be a black man. It doesn't really matter. But you feel like you're losing something when a black man loves anybody from any other race. Mm -hmm. hey, look, he's if even if a black man dated another black woman, he's not dating you. It has nothing to do with you. So why the fuck do you care? If you want to adopt all this responsibility for the entire race of black people, then you can do that. If you want to make it your mission to do that, then you can do that, I guess. But again, these are all issues that don't affect you. And yeah, nah. Uh Honestly, I think it's past trauma and she needs therapy, bro. Like, it's not even just with that though. Like, I feel like with a lot of a lot of people, like they they put women on a pedestal, and it's not a shot at women, obviously, but women are put on a pedestal to where they can they can basically do no wrong, but anything a man does is just you you're you're open to what like to any kind left field criticism, bro, because. The, the shit she just described is literally the same thing, but she just she just feels as though one is just better than the other, point blank period. And it's just I don't think it's gonna take I don't think it's really gonna be any convincing for her. So I'm gonna just drop it right there, man. This video is a little crazy, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> we gonna come back with another banger, cause this is crazy. I hope it's a part two to this shit, but I gotta start making my video shorter, man. <laughs> Pow, we out of here, man.